YouTube, thanks for checking back in again with us here at White One Auto. So today we're talking about our 1960 Impala LS 4L60E swap. So we're starting with our wiring, and right now my preliminary plan is as the wiring is laid out. So the harness that we are using is a is a new is a newly constructed harness that was done by Howe Engineering for us. It is not a rework of our Camaro harness. Our Camaro harness is actually still right here. So we have a, a brand new harness that is set up for uh, LS1. So we have our injectors and our coils all plugged in. Our transmission wiring is plugged in down there. We're going to mount our PCM right here because we are using a factory setup. It's just not a lot of room in there uh, with the vintage air and such. So we opted to put it out here. Then we have this group of wiring right here, which is a fuse block, and as well as our very important OBD2 connector, as well as a few important um, signal wires. So we're gonna pass this bundle of wiring through this hole right here that already existed in the car. So we will pass that through there, put a grommet on it, and then make our connections inside. Um, everything else here is pretty much straightforward. We got two leads over here. One of them is for our mass airflow sensor, there's that one. And this one is for our fan. I'm contemplating, should I pull these two relays out of here? Because this is a relay for, I think the fan. Yeah, so it's a fan relay. And this is a fuel pump relay. And I'm thinking I might put them in an MSD relay block. So I just need to determine about that. So I'm coming along pretty good here. We're very, very short distance from getting oil pressure. And um, things, things are looking great. So I just wanted to drop a quick video, let you know where we're standing on our Impala. We're gonna keep it moving. White One Auto, out.